everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Naked Skin Urban Decay Weightless Concealer. I have heard so many raving reviews about this and so I thought I would go out and buy it and try it and see if I like it. So I went out and bought it and I have it on right now actually. This is what the box says. Naked Skin Urban Decay. It is light diffusing, peptide infused, paraben free. That's always good. And it is 5 milliliters just in case you wanted to know. So I'm the shade Light Neutral. I put this on this morning and usually I use Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics and that stuff is pretty heavy and thick and that's why I wanted to try like a weightless concealer because those have been really popular lately. So I started off with the first layer and it didn't cover as much as I wanted to and as much as I was used to with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. So I put one more coat of concealer on top of that. I let it dry and see how it looked and I looked in the mirror and it was very drying. Like I felt like it gave me creases that I never had before and like wrinkles under my eyes that I never had before. So I don't know if you guys have that problem or have tried it. Leave it in the comments below if you have tried it and you didn't have that problem. I don't know if I'm putting it on wrong. Maybe I should try it with a brush instead of a beauty blender? I don't know. But then I set my under eyes like I always do and it got really dry. Like I almost felt like it was flaky underneath my eyes. So I don't know why it did that to me. It's not like I'm a dry person. I have very normal skin. Um, my mom tried it and my friend Krista tried it and they both got really bad creases underneath their eyes and they didn't even put any powder on. So I'm kind of disappointed in this. I do like the brightness it gives you. I feel like it's more of a brightener than a concealer. I think this would work out really well for people who have oily skin or people who don't have really bad dark circles. I wouldn't use this for an everyday concealer, so I'm probably going to take it back and try something else out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Bye!